This is uh, Margaret from Pennsylvania. I called before about student loans. Hi, Margaret. <laughs> I'm, I'm your I'm your your boomer caller. Yeah. <laughs> Good to hear from you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wanted to let people know about an organization for introverts like me who can help get out to vote. Um, I just stumbled across it. It's called Red Wine, as in what you drink, and Blue. Um, If you just put that in your search bar, it'll come up. And it's a great idea. It's for women um, to talk to people that they already know in their family, in their the friend circle about the importance of voting in the midterms, especially in Pennsylvania. There's, you know, Pennsylvania, we've got a lot going on here, as you know, and they offer trainings and you don't have to go door to door. You don't have to do anything that's uncomfortable. You simply talk to people that you already know and they give you some talking points. Um, and then you ask all of the people on your list to please do the same. And so it's kind of a nice ripple effect uh, without, you know, having to have nerve wracking conversations. So please uh, check it out. I'm on the website now. It's so cute. Like it has all these different pictures of of women and moms. It seems like uh, the great troublemaker turnout and great graphics. here. Yeah, this is awesome. It's really, it's a great idea. And the the training that I went to, they featured Giselle Fetterman. Oh, cool. And she, yeah, what a lovely human being she is. Um, she uh, talked about, she runs a, a free store in, you know, they live in, they live in Braddock, Pennsylvania, which is very depressed. And um, they, she's, she's just a wonderful person. She said uh, an, a veteran came in to her store and he was obviously down on his luck and began to make all these uh, critical remarks about these damn immigrants. Yeah. And she said, she turned to him and said, but my parents, uh, my parents were immigrants. And she said, you know, how, how would you feel if you, you know, met a woman with children who was, you know, under attack, like her daughters were at risk of being raped and, and her sons were at risk of being, you know, uh, killed. Wouldn't wouldn't you agree that if she could leave that situation, she should? And she said, that's what that's the situation my mother was in. And they had a real kind of heart to heart conversation. And that's the kind of approach that the red wine and blue is asking people to take, that you just have these you don't get into an argument. You just have conversations about like that. And um The other thing, too, I wanted to mention was maybe you have interviewed this guy because you guys are always like right on top of things. But the guy's name is Dave, David Pepper, and he wrote a book called Laboratories of Autocracy. Yeah, we've had him on. Yeah, you had. Yeah, I'm reading his book and it's a mind blower. Yeah. Um, And the last thing I wanted to say was I live next door to a lovely woman who is. Uh, also a boomer and she's an ardent Catholic and she's you know very conservative and listens to Fox News all the time but she's a lovely person I give you the shirt off her back she's a wonderful neighbor we've been neighbors for 30 years and she invited me over to her house yesterday and while I was there she got this call on her landline and it was this is so-and-so from the Republican Party. We need to do everything we can to make sure that those radical left communist leftists don't get in charge. And we're asking you to you know, on and on. And I really wanted to say to her, Nancy, I'm a Dem. You've, you've known me for 30 years. Do you really think that I'm a, like a Marxist? <laughs> that no, you're I'm, one of the good ones, yeah, Margaret. That, I an evil which I know, but I, I, I was so taken aback by the what I heard. You know, her. Uh, it's like she lives in a, she lives right next door, and we're really good friends, and we have so much in common. And yet, that car, that call, really jarred me. You know, I, I feel like all of us are being manipulated. 
you know, across the board to be at each other's throats. Oh, and I, I, I don't know what to do about that, except I think this red wine and blue is a, is a, it's, it's something I can do. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I think you want to, you want to approach things as if you're just there for, uh, offering understanding of the world, not that you're fighting them. And that relationship right. you have with, uh, her, that sounds exactly like my grandma's relationship with one of her friends. My grandma being the uh, Fox News watcher, mm -hmm. but she's got yeah. what, her best friend. Uh, they hang out like every day is basically a resistance <laughs> Democrat, and they actually they actually do yeah. like, fight about it sometimes too. But it's it's very strange, like which is uh, actually probably a little bit more healthy than like if you can puncture it and at least talk about it and talk about it in a way that is, that is like this isn't a threat to the relationship. I, I like sometimes you know right. people have opinions where it's like I think you know uh, we should have segregation. It's like okay, we need to maybe re reassess whether we're going <laughs> right. to continue this relationship, but like that. that that's the way in because you're right like everybody's basically a victim of propaganda um from the moment and, they and you know the, we have much more in common than not it's just that it you know all of these ridiculous you know talking points are amplified to take take the focus off of what really what people really want which is just a shot at a decent life yeah you know that that Anyway, thanks for taking my call. I, I um, really appreciate you and all you do. Margaret, we love when you to hear from you, so thanks so much. Oh, she, she hung up. But that red wine and blue thing, say you're an introvert watching this. From what I've seen on the website, I haven't looked into it, but I trust Margaret. Check that out. Um, see if you can make a difference, because we are a month away from the midterms. And... Um, very important, as it always is.